Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video on how to make a coaster. These are great and easy things to create for the holidays or if you're having a party or anything like that. These are quick, easy things to do in Fusion and they don't take long at all. So today we're going to get right into it. Uh, so I created this in my Spooky Witch Era face coaster. I didn't create the design but I did the, the coaster here in Fusion 360. Uh, a lot of people ask me how do you do coasters so I figured I'd make a video. So what we're going to do is first you need your PNG or JPEG image, which I already have. Then we're going to go ahead and load up vectorize.ai. We're going to drag our PNG file onto the website and we're going to hit OK. Since this is already a black and white image with the background removed, we don't need to change anything. We're going to wait for it to upload, process, and then fetch. We're going to go ahead and hit download. Like I said, it's already a simple image. We're not going to touch anything here, and we're just going to click download. Now that it's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and fire up Fusion 360. And we're going to go to the front face, sketch, and create a sketch. Click on the front. And now what we're going to do is create the circles. We're going to do three circles. First one's going to be at 95 millimeters, second one at 92, and the third one at 90. So what we can do is go up here under the sketch and click the circle, or we can hit C on our keyboard. We're going to hit C on our keyboard, and we're going to click the center point here, drag out a little bit, and do 95. Hit C on our keyboard again, click the center point, drag out a little bit, 92. Hit C on our keyboard, click the center point, and drag out a little bit, and do 90. All right, now we have our three circles, and what we're going to want to do is we do not want to hit Finish Sketch. We actually want to import our vectorized file in here first, so it's all on the same sketch. So we're going to go ahead and insert SVG. We're going to locate our file. Hit open it. And now we're going to drag it. As you notice, it's a little big, so we're just going to simply resize it. Each image is different, so you're just going to resize to how your image fits inside the circle. And we're going to want to make it a little centered here. Fusion can be a little tricky because there's no like snap to center at least that I have figured out yet. Um, so that looks pretty good on the sides here. Uh, this is just a test to show you guys, so we'll hit OK and finish sketch. And so now we have our sketch here, and as you can see, everything is pretty much separated. Um, so that's great. What we're going to do now is highlight everything, hit E on our keyboard for extrude, and we're going to do negative 3. This is for the what we call the black part or the back. Hit new component and hit OK and we'll name this we're gonna know everything on the back side is gonna be black so we'll hit black or we'll type black here so that way when we import it into bamboo studios we can kinda color it based off the, t the name we already set up so then sketch automatically disappears so we have to enable the sketch again and what we want is everything uh, on the top here so the main design is going to stay at the bottom and it's going to be black just like I showed you so it's going to stand out really well and what we're going to do here is select the outside ring so this ring here in the middle kind of helps separate it so you kind of get like a cool effect and so what we're going to do is do extrude and then two millimeters up so you can see most of it now it's going to be flat which is great so when you set a cup on it it doesn't like wobble or anything like that and we're going to go to new component and we're going to hit OK and we're going to set that to white. Hit enter on our keyboard. Now what I like to do is do coloring so you can hit A on your keyboard for appearance type in black and I'm just going to go ahead and do the oxide color black right click on it duplicate edit make that white and we'll drag it to the white over here. Hit close. Hide the sketch so we don't see any of those lines. And that's exactly how our coaster is going to look. It's very quick because it's three millimeters of black and then two millimeters of white. And you can set it to any color combo you want. I just do black and white because it's super simple and easy to do. And I always have tons of black and white filament on hand. Um, all right. And then once we're done and you're happy with that, we're going to right click under unsaved. And we're going to go to export and we're going to go to step file and we're going to name it spooky coaster 
and it's going to go to my downloads folder and we'll hit export and we can minimize that go ahead and open up bamboo studios go ahead and new project and then what we're going to do is drag our step file in there perfect and now it's all black so a lot of people have asked me how i color and what i do is because i do the colors already in fusion and i label them all i have to do is go to objects over here plate one drop down my step file and then i would do white i would do two change this to the correct pla profile and there you go so there's no need to use the paint bucket when you the way i do it in fusion through components because it's already set up that way and that's why you extrude by each color so as soon as you import it in the bamboo bam you're done two seconds to color and now you can see it looks good and then i have a print pro profile already set up for coasters um, as you can see here i'll kind of scroll down a little bit so you can see it's not much it's just the strength i do 100 percent and uh, two walls and it's actually really thick i have dropped these before right on the hardwood floor to test them and they didn't break uh, the hundred percent and the five millimeters total really helps out that way. And then you can always fit a five on the build plate or I'm sorry, four, sometimes five, depending on the side, like, uh, the design and whatnot. But we'll uh, show you here. There's four easily on the build plate and you can even rearrange it more. I have fit five in it before in the past and we hit slice. And four hours total, one hour per, and filament change, one. And total cost is $3. $3 for four coasters, that's a great deal. Uh, this isn't always 100% correct, but at least gives you a base idea. So these are quick, easy. I mean, four hours on a bamboo printer, and you could always speed it up and do sport mode if you like. I always do normal mode. But, uh, yeah, that's how to create coasters in Fusion 360 and uh, print them on the bamboo studios. I appreciate watching my video and if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like and uh, we're coming out with more videos in the future and I appreciate it. Thank you.